All right, I'm going to show you guys how to set up and use Bitwarden if you have an Android phone. The first thing you want to do is go to your Google Play Store. It's this icon right here. Once you open it, what you want to do next is search for it in the search box at the top. Just type in Bitwarden. You'll have it as one of the options. Make sure you download the one that's Bitwarden Incorporated. It's just the one with the good reviews and a lot of downloads. Uh, then you click this big install button to install it. And you wait for it to install. Once installed, you can press the open button here, or you can go to your home screen here. Usually there's a pop-up, or go to your app drawer by swiping up. And you can see it's in your app drawer. Click on it to open the app. Next thing you want to do is log in. I'll press the log in button because we already have an account created. Then enter your email address. Once you've entered your username and password, your master password, you want to go and click on the login button at the top. Then it will download your vault and decrypt it locally on your smartphone. From here, you can go and view all your items in your vault just by clicking on the name. You can see everything inside that item. You got the username. This little clipboard here is for copying it. So in case you want to copy and paste the username and password by hand, you can. You also have the little I button next to the password that shows you your passwords. You also have a little check mark box here. That's for checking to see if the password's been in any uh, breaches using the Have I Been Pwned database, a database. This one has not been found in the database of exposed passwords. You also have the URL here. Click in this. Uh, error right here will launch the uh, URL into the web browser you have default, or you can also copy it using the clipboard icon there. And the uh, at the bottom here is a password history. There's a number. When you click it, you can see the previous passwords. Using your uh, back button on your device, you can go back, back again, open it back up, show you one more time. Uh, the edit button's right here at the bottom. You click that, it allows you to edit the items in this vault. And of course, you have other options here. Click away from it to close it, or press the Save button there. There's your Generate Password button. If you have a premium account with Bitwarden, you can take a picture of the TOTP QR code. You can add more URLs. You can put it in a folder, add notes, add custom fields at the bottom too. And when you're done with it, you can just press the Save button. We'll get out of this item. This is all your items in your vault. You also have the generator button at the middle. You can generate new passwords, set all your criteria there. Uh, avoid ambiguous characters means avoid O and I because they look the same. And you also have settings at the very end on the right. To make it uh, the most useful, what you want to do is enabled uh, for your device here, you want, you want to enable autofill service and then also enable autofill accessibility service. So when you do that, this will make it a lot easier for when you're on different websites and it will actually fill in the password for you. Click on that. This will allow you to enable it. So you, what you do is you got the stash now is disabled. So you want to click on this and we want to enable Bitwarden. So click on open autofill settings. To take you to the settings, you want to select Bitwarden. Select OK. And now we got the status is enabled. Let's go back. Now we get enabled, it's green right there. We also need autofill accessibility service, click on that. We have status disabled, so we want to enable it. So this will do is we'll open up accessibility settings and we want to select the warden. Select and check it. We want to do allow. And we have options for hold volume keys. You can do that if you want to. I am not. So we'll go back. Go back. 
and we want to do open overlay permission settings. Click on that. Click on Bitwarden and check it off there so it turns blue. Press the back button. Back one more time. Now we got status enabled. So now it'll be easier for us to log into things using the built in web browser of our smartphone. We'll press the back button. Now both are enabled. Sweet. So now we can log into things a lot easier using Bitwarden as our password manager. All right, after we get the autofill settings set up, what we can do now is we can uh, use Bitwarden to sign into websites using uh, our mobile device here. So what you want to do is go to a website that you want to log into, go into the sign in page. I'm going to use Walmart as an example, and we're going to sign into our account. To sign into our account, select uh, email, and Bitwarden is popped up here. Click on the autofill option. There's a launch Bitwarden. If your vault is locked, it will ask for your master password uh, or your fingerprint or your pin or however you have set it up. And once you're here, you click on the name of the item you want to autofill, click it, and Bitwarden autofills it. And just click the sign in button and you sign into the website. One convenient option with Bitwarden is that you can set a pin so you don't have to keep entering your master password all the time. So open Bitwarden up and navigate to the settings page at the far right right here and you can go to unlock with pen code select it and then you can enter a pin I'm going to do three four five as my pin code yours can be longer yours can be shorter whatever you feel comfortable with and I press the submit and it's going to ask you unlock with pin code do you want to require unlocking with your master password when the application is restarted no I do not want to uh, have my master password prompted when I restart the application. This is just for convenience sake. Uh, what we need to talk about here is the pin code itself. Um, your pin code is not a replacement for your master password, even though I selected it and it seems like I did, but it's actually not a replacement for your master password. You, your master password still encrypts your data on the vault at Bitwarden. And I like to set the vault timeout to a little shorter than 15 minutes. Uh, me personally, usually immediately, but for the settings here of this demonstration, I'm just going to do it to uh, five minutes. But let's we'll see what happens when you hit immediately. And then we uh, close out. And when you open the application back up, it's going to ask for the pin. So we enter the pin, press the unlock button decrypts our vault and opens it back up. And once again, the pen is not a replacement for your master password. You still need to remember your master password. All right, what if you run into a situation where you're trying to log into a website, but for some odd reason, the Bitwarden pop-up doesn't show up? Well, what you wanna do with that, you wanna go to your Bitwarden application and go inside the uh, website that you want to log into and click on Mainly, you have to click on the uh, clipboard here to copy your username. And it says at the bottom it's been copied. Go to your application switcher and switch over to the browser. Then press and hold until the paste pops up. Then press the paste button. Then go back to your application switcher and go back to Bitwarden and copy the password. Click on the clipboard here. It says password has been copied. Go back to your application switcher. Go back to the browser. Press and hold. Paste. Then you can log in. It's a little bit harder, but it's, it's not that bad. Once you get to hang it, because it was kind of slow for me going back and forth, but once you get used to it, it's not that bad. And most of the time, the little uh, bit warden thing will pop up. You press it, then it will auto fill for you. That happens most of the time. Just in case it doesn't, maybe get the website is some weird website and they're being uh, complicated. This is another way to do it and fill in your, uh, your login credentials. Okay, I'm going to show you guys how to add an account to your Bitwarden uh, password manager that's not already in there. There are several ways to do this, but I'm going to show you the, the surefire way that works every time. Uh, there's a couple other ways you can do it. Uh, 
that can be easy but sometimes some websites get a little finicky and they don't work so I'm going to show you the surefire way so let's say for example I want to sign up for uh, Target here and of course normal people will start filling this information out but instead of uh, going and filling out the information right here what we're going to do is we're going to go into our Bitwarden and password manager and we're going to create an account then we're going to fill out the information from here so I'm doing a target account so I'm going to name it target so the username will be uh, whatever the website needs uh, some websites use uh, actual username like whatever made up name or some use your email address so whatever that website is needing this website needs an email address so I'm going to do that and then we're going to generate a password by clicking this rotating arrow button and choose whatever that website is uh, requires that looks fine to me so I'm going to press the select button then it's important you get the URL or URI as uh, Bitwarden calls it this is the website itself and you can simply do target.com the simple URL you don't have to get fancy with it you just need this and this is this is the meat of what you want because when it does the uh, autofill option it actually is going to use the URL from the website you're on to compare what's in your vault and that's how it gets to using a password to fill that in so you gotta make sure that's correct just press the checkbox there and you can add any notes or anything else you want to add to it down here maybe there's security questions you can add that right there but once you have it you press the save button now it's saved in your vault now you can go back and uh, start filling in what I like to do from here is get the item I like to mainly, this is the foolproof method, uh, I like to mainly copy, switch application, press and hold, paste, and for the password I like to go back to switch application, open Bitwarden, press the clipboard icon to copy the password, switch, press and hold. You do have the option that pops up that bit warning can autofill but I like to do the manual copy and paste. I only do this for when creating accounts. Of course you can fill out the rest of that information here and phone number and all that and you can sign up to the account and carry on. That's how you create an account inside of Bitwarden. So what if you want to create an account that you don't already have an account for? So I'm going to create an account here at this website and what you want to do is click on the little password fill or the username fill until you see the bit one pop up here and you want to click on it to go to the autofill section that will open Bitwarden and it's going to say hey you don't have an item you don't have an item at this website or you don't have a vault item uh, so you want to do is click on add an item and it will already fill in the type and the URL name and URL down here then you just enter the username the username depends on the website some require your email some require just you make up a username for this particular website they just require me to make up a username I'm just gonna make something up uh, then in the password section here you have a little generate button you click that and it's your password generator you can pick up whatever options you want so on and so forth uh, but that one's fine for me, so I'm going to press the select button. And you can add other items here, notes, maybe they have security questions, you can add that to the notes section. But once you're happy with it, press the save button. It will create a new item. And once it's created, we're still in the autofill section here, so we'll click on the name itself. And create an account. Down here at the bottom, that is Google asking if you want to save the password. Uh, I do not recommend, a st you don't want to use two password managers, so stick to the Bitwarden one. You can just uh, X out or press never for the Chrome one at the bottom. It's important you don't get the two confused, because uh, you'll have, if you, if you end up using both password managers, you'll have a set of passwords in Google Chrome password manager, and you have another set in Bitwarden, it's going to get you confused and make you crazy. So you want to stick to one password manager and stick to the Bitwarden one. And to log in, just 
I'll log out real quick, show you how to log back in. Click on the item, autofill, autofills it, press log in, and you're logged in. And of course, ignore the Chrome. I'll press never, so it'll never ask me again. And you want to keep your passwords inside of Bitwarden's password manager. To keep Google from popping up the auto save option so we don't get confused by having uh, Google Chrome save our passwords and Bitwarden save our passwords because that just would get just a little too crazy. What you want to do is keep Chrome from asking to save and autofill passwords. The way you do that is you go into Chrome, you click on these three dots for your settings options, go down to the settings option at the bottom here, click on that, then go to passwords, then uncheck that, and then uncheck auto sign in. And you can also go into the payment methods and you can deselect it from saving the pa payment methods and addresses and more. This one's important too, because uh, it'll keep it from popping up email addresses and usernames uh, for some odd reason. They uh, also follow this rule too, so you want to make sure that one's unselect like it is now. That way you don't have Bitwarden fighting uh, Google Chrome with the passwords.